wanna be is wipes and waves All I did was fail today All we do Take your road, lead 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, the long wait is over. Wearing the creation of Christian Relator, our 16 stunning Mutia with the Van Guardians Dance Company in their production number. Swipe my card, then I do the nay nay. You're talking to a late date. I want a Kanye, yeah, not a Ray J. So that's a no no. I'ma make back and use the buffer. This convo be like Dre, ayy. Hey, I already know what you're trying to say. I can see that you're a baller, and I see you're trying to holler, but that ain't how it's got up. Next, I'm looking for the money, cause it's what my mama taught me. So your ass better show me some respect. Smack, ayy. Hey. Boss. Michelle Obama, who burst so heavy, getting no problem. Abisso, 19, 
Samantha Marie Asa Hibaya, 21 Poblacion Bella Minion, 18 Sukuha! Adia Sesa Yusalina, 20 Kuga! Christina Maria shot 20 tip tip. The bien coyos 22 for Blason Dor. Yolanda Cabagnot 18 Mansasa. Grisha Marie Senado Sumal 22 Cabal. Flaviona Kanya Joaquin 19. And now, let's welcome our host for tonight, Mutia sa Tagbilaran 2022, second runner-up, Ms. Antoinette Rain Webb. Mutia sa Tagbilaran 2022, fourth runner-up, Ms. Claire Ann Vertudazo. Mutia sa Mansasa 2022, Ms. Kyla Cassidy Risho. And Mutia sa Dampas 2022, Ms. Mary Grace Bell Reyes. Good evening, everyone! Good evening, Tag Bileranon! Yes, Rain, it is indeed a good evening, especially after hearing an inspiring message from our city councillor, Honorable Bucci Zamora. I totally agree, and as we speak of welcome, we are all happy seeing all these people. As you can see, we have a full house tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mutiasa Tag Bilaran. 2023 Talent Competition. How about we give a grand applause to our 16th Sonny Mutia, the production number already fired up the night. Thank you, ladies. Truly a wonderful night, and also we have a wonderful host here tonight. Ladies here beside me. So how are you girls? I am so happy seeing you here all on stage. Yes, I feel the same way. I am glad that we are all safe as well as our families. Tonight is indeed a celebration of sorts, a celebration that we can be all together and witness the beauty and talents of our 16 candidates. Right there? Exactly, Rain. So to our audience tonight, let's savor this moment and just enjoy our time together. Do we all agree? I didn't quite get that. Again, Tagbila Ranons! Do we all agree? Yes, we will definitely have a blast tonight with a showcase of talents from our beautiful Mutia candidates. This night will definitely shine brighter than these lights. But before the showcase of talents from our beautiful Mutia candidates, Kyla, the Van Gorgians will dazzle us with a spectacular performance. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big round of applause to the Van Gorgians Dance Company. Me tratas como una princesa y me das lo que pido. Tú tienes el bate y la fuerza que yo necesito Cuando estamos solos te juro no me falta nada Te pongo un 13 de 10 cuando estamos en la cama Nunca había sentido algo tan grande Y me vuelve loca a tu lado salvaje Tú me has dado tanto que he estado pensando Ya lo tengo todo Pero, ¿y el anillo pa' cuándo? Si no papi, echa pa' allá Oh, tú sabes 
Bilaran City Council for Culture and Arts. Let's give it up for Miss Jason Lespejo in Ting. For our third judge, she is the Dean at University of Bohol Teachers College, Dr. Janice Arara Tirol Namok. Fourth judge of tonight, we have a woman who works at PNP Aviation Security Group. Let's welcome Miss Merlinda Mendez Pasalo. And to complete the set of judges for tonight's talent competition, may I call on the Director of Cultural Affairs at Holy Name University? Again, Tagpilaranons, please help me welcome Mr. Marianito Jose Luzpo. Thank you to our dear judges for sharing us with their precious time. Thank you, Rain, Kyla, and Claire, and we will see you in a while. competition accounts for 10% of the total score. The talents of each candidate will be judged based on the degree of difficulty, which is 5%, and showmanship, which is also 5%. The winner will be awarded during the Grand Coronation Night on April 22 at the Bahal Wisdom Gymnasium. And now, the time that we all have been waiting for is finally here. I feel like it's just yesterday that we have performed our respective talents and now another batch will be performing. You know, I can still remember how nervous I was that night and at this point, ladies and gentlemen, I am very curious on what the girls have prepared for us tonight. So friends, brace yourselves for the first batch of candidates Starting off with Mutia number one from Barangay Taloto, Reina Jana Visto. Hi Reina, good evening. You look so cute on your outfit tonight. Thank you. You look awesome as well. Well, thank you so much, Reina. And you know, I've heard that your advocacy is about hope for the people with special needs. So Reina, is the concept of your talent connected with your advocacy? 
Well, yes, my performance will showcase my talent with my advocacy as the key concept, which is the movement towards educational support for children with disabilities and disorders. Well, that's very good, Reina. And you have a lot of fans here tonight. Do you have any message for them? I would like to thank you all for supporting me and my Mutya sisters. Well, thank you so much, Reina. And we cannot wait to be inspired by your performance. We'll see you in a minute. So for now, I'd like to give a little trivia about Barangay Taloto. Did you know that the name of Barangay Taloto refers to a medicinal tree? Yes, you heard it right. And unknown to almost everyone in Taloto, Dr. Jose Rizal, our national hero, have slept for at least one night at Taloto. And I believe at this moment, Mutia number one is now ready. All right, so please, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome once again Mutia sa Barangay Taloto, Reina Jana Visto. When you hear the word disabled, people immediately think about people who can't walk or talk or do everything that people take for granted. Now, I take nothing for granted, but I find the real disability is people who can't find joy in life and are bitter. I was slightly brain damaged at birth, and I want people like me to see that they shouldn't let a disability get in their way. I want to raise awareness. I want to turn my disability into ability.
heart is where the children are. And I long to help and reach out to those precious and special children. So I am raising awareness and supporting the movement towards educational support for children with disabilities and disorders. And together, we progress as one. We move forward as one. Reina Jana Visto. So right now, let's move on to our second candidate. Let me call on from Barangay Poblacion 3, Miss Samantha Marie Hibaya. Wow, Samantha, you look so gorgeous in that outfit. You are on fire. Thank you so much. So how are you, Samantha? How are you feeling tonight that this is it, the talent competition? I'm feeling awesome, all knowing that my selfless supporters, my supportive family, friends, and of course, my beloved Barangay Poblacion Tres who are here. I'm so grateful to have all of you tonight. But to be completely honest with you, Mary, this is such a nerve-wracking moment for me, most especially that after tonight, after we showcase our talents, that means we're days closer to the pageant. And time flies really fast. And I'm feeling quite sentimental thinking about the moments we shared along with my Mutia sisters. Now, Miss Dampas 2022, are you as excited as I am? Well, Samantha, yes, I am as, exi as excited as you are and so are your supporters here tonight. So. Samantha, well, you've got a lot of fans here tonight cheering you on. Do you have any message for them? Well, um, everyone, I am very happy that you're here to support me and that you believe in me. I owe you one great performance. All right, so I know that you have a lot of fans here and I know they are very curious on what your talent is about. So Samantha, could you give us a little hint on what are you going to show for us tonight? The theme for Mutia sa Tagbilaran is women empowerment and I wanted to incorporate that in my performance. As I am performing, I am bringing the pride with what every woman can do to move mountains. And this moment is a great moment to reactivate woman power. And thus I would like to offer a song that would highly dedicate to all the women in the world. All right, thank you so much, Samantha. And why don't you get yourself ready backstage? I'll see you in a while. I would like to take this opportunity to commend our ever dynamic city mayor, Jane Yap, for continuously bringing pride for Tagbilaran City. You know guys, recently, Mayor Jane Yap was recognized as top two, garnering 82.1% in the top Central Visayas City Mayor's Philippines Board. Dako kaayuninga garbo nato Tagbilaranons because for just less than a year, Mayor Jane Yap has already given us so much pride and progress for our community. So ladies and gentlemen, give your loudest cheers to Mutya sa Banagay Poblacion 3, Samantha Marie Hibaya.
when I think of inspiration. I think of the two Jennies in my life. That's my mother, Jenny. And of course, my trainer, the amazing Jenny Stumpy. I never forget the first time I saw you perform. Never in my life saw a woman so powerful, so fearless, so fabulous, and the But this song is out for all the women who continue to fight the struggles of their lives. We're celebrating you tonight. We're gonna take the beginning of the song and do it. Then we're gonna do the finish. Nice. And rock! And that's how we do Proud Mary.
Rock Ruby tonight with Samantha's performance. But wait, there's more. So let me call on our Mutia number three from Barangay Kogon, Aliyah Yuselina. Hi, Aliyah. How are you? Well, exactly. I'm doing good. I'm feeling so great right now hearing those people cheering me out there. <laughs> well, Aliyah, I've seen the first two candidates danced and sang. So can you please share to us more about your talent tonight? Well, for my talent presentation for tonight, um, Mary, my team and I crafted a piece that shows our hopes to rekindle or to awaken our sense of nationalism because you know as I noticed today in our generation or in this modern time of course that um, the appreciation for our culture and heritage was being so easily so shift right so we need to be remembered reminded as well that um, we need to be true to our identity as a Filipino of course and to give pride to our country the Philippines well that sounds so exciting Aliyah and we'll see you again in a minute. So guys, did you know during the post-Second World War to the 1980s, Barangay Kogon have seen many developments and progress. And one distinct development of Barangay Kogon is the proliferation of a home-based industry that sells lunch meals and food. And up until today, we are still seeing how progressive Barangay Kogon is and Tagbilaran City as a whole. And just recently, last year, the city government of Tagbilaran under the administration of Mayor Jane Yap, Tagbilaran City won the most business-friendly city in 2022 in the whole Philippines by PCCI. Surely, hashtag Ascenso Pamor, Tagbilaran. So I guess everything is all set for Mutya number three. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mutia sa Barangay Kogon, Aliyah Yusalina. Takilang lahi na tinatangi Pag-ibig ko inang bayan O oh, ang pag-ibig ko'y sa'yo inang bayan Ikaw ang siyang dalangin ko Sa Diyos kailan pa man Tuminag ng iyong bituin At sumikat ng araw Lantay na perlas ng sila 
It would really make us more proud to be Pinoy and love our Inang Bayan, Ang Pilipinas. Alright, so let's proceed to the next Mutia. Mutia number four, Miss Tagbilaran City College, Princess May Hanyola. Hello, Princess. How are you feeling tonight? You have a lot of supporters here. Well, Mary, I started my day with a good workout. But here I am today, standing in front of you, with a little, little bit shaky right now. But at the same time, my heart is full of happiness, seeing my supportive families here, and most especially my TCCN's family. That's why I'm so very proud that I am representing Taguilaran City College with pride and confidence. Thank you. Proud TCCNs indeed, and I bet you are very much ready to show off your talent. Good luck, Ali Princess. So for everyone's information, the Tagbilaran City College is one of the Ascenso Pamor projects during the administration of our former City Mayor John Gisnal Babayap. This was officially opened last 2019 and up until now with the continued support of the present administration led by our city mayor Jane Yap, Tagbilaran City College has humbly gone far and wide. And everything's set tonight for Mutia number four, Miss Tagbilaran City College, Princess May Hanyola.
College, Princess Hanyola. There you have it, friends, our first set of Mutias. I must say the competition is getting tougher by the minute. So Kyla, take it away for the second batch of candidates. Thank you, Mary. That's true. You have all seen the first set of Mutia, and well, it was definitely beyond words. This time, another set of gorgeous ladies will take you off your seats. Let's start with Mutia number five, Saviona Joaquin from Barangay Dampas. Hi there, Flaviona. You look so stunning tonight and I really love your dress. Thank you so much. This is um, inspired by the color of empowered women, violet or lavender or purple. Wow, that's You also great. look so stunning tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, did you know last year, Barangay Dampas bagged the Best in Talent Award? Yes. So I would like to ask you if you are pressured to have a back-to-back -back win for Best in Talent. And what are we going to look forward to tonight? I'm not gonna lie, the pressure will always be there. But I am confident enough because I know that I have my supporters here tonight. Thank you so much for coming here and giving all your effort and time to go here. And also, as someone who was raised here in Tagbilaran City, I want to show my love through this song, through my talents and through my abilities that God has given to me. And also, I want to comm commemorate this song to Tagbilaran City and all to Ta Tagbilaranans, knowing that I have observed all the culture, arts, and beauty here in Tagbilaran. And all the celebrations here are connected with our unity as Tagbilaranans. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mutia number five. Good luck, and I'll see you in a while. Thank you. All right. So, a little trivia for Barangay Dampas is that it is the largest barangay in this barangay in the city of Tagbilaran. All right. Well, I guess Mutia number five is already set. Let's give it up for Mutia number five, Flaviona Joaquin from Barangay Dampas.
amazing performance from Barangay Dampas. A very, very angelic voice that left me speechless. Well, I know you want more, so let's give it up for Mutia number six, Debian Coyos from Barangay Publishing Dos. Hi there, Debian. You look so gorgeous tonight. I really love your look. Thank you so much. You look gorgeous tonight too. Thank you so much. So, are, how are you feeling tonight and what have you prepared for us? Actually, I'm very excited tonight because we would be able to showcase our talent, which is a proof that the Mutia candidates are not only gifted by intelligence and beauty, but we are also gifted by various talents. And I really prepared for this. It is because this song is very relatable, not just only me, but for all ages of our audience here. All right, that's great. So good luck. All right, we'll see you in a while. So for publishing DOS, for the information of everyone, it is the center for businesses and schools in Tagbilaran City, also the home of the famous tourist attraction KFC Promenade and the Balili Heritage House. Well, I guess Poblacion Dos is already set. Let's give it up for Debbie and Koyas from Barangay Poblacion Dos. Once again, Debian Coyas from Barangay Poblacion Dos.
ourselves we even limit our capabilities then we choose to hide we choose to be silent and then worse we become another version of ourselves that we never know standing here in front of you I hope that you can reflect on me that there is nothing wrong on choosing to become the empowered version of yourself no matter how long or short your hair is, no matter what shape or color or scar you have, you, you, you will forever be beautiful. So let's practice to breathe in confidence and exhale fear. And remember, what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. Wow, what a very inspiring performance from Debbie and Koyos from Barangay Publishing Dos. And next up, we have Mutia number seven, Julian Petros from Barangay Boy. Hi there, Julian. You look so fabulous tonight. You Thank you so, so much, Miss Kaisal. Yes, look so like a Diwata. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so do you have a message to your supporters here? Thank you so much for your support for me and to my fellow Mutia sisters. Tonight is such a lovely evening, not just for me, but for all of us. Thank you so much. All right, we'll see you in a while, Barangay Boy. Thank you. So Barangay Boy is one of the largest and fastest growing barangays in the city of Tagbilaran. It is situated on one of the stretch coastlines of the city and Buoy could be reached by tricycles and field cubs to the city business district from the pier. Well, I guess all Barangay Boys is already set. Let's give it up for Julian Pedros from Barangay Boy.
the fragility of our planet and be responsible for the devastation between our aspiration for progress and the cost of that progress to mother nature our leaders ought to make wise decision and take responsible action to protect the environment as empowered women earth warriors we must minimize the impact of environmental degradation starting with reducing consumption of single-use plastics or supporting environmentally conscious companies. If we understand these connections, we can take a more holistic approach to safeguard the environment to ensure a sustainable future for all. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a spectacular performance from Julian Pedros. And next off, we have Mutia number eight, Sara Ann Gerber from Barangay Manga. Hi, Sara, you look so gorgeous tonight. Hello, you look absolutely stunning. Thank you so much. So, can you share to me what your talent is all about? My talent is all about rediscovering Bohol in its finest. I'm very excited to showcase my talent because it gives me the chance to show the people what Bohol and Tagbilaran City has to offer with its beauty and richness and culture. Thank you. Thank you so much, Barangay Mangao. I'll see you in a while. So Barangay Manga, a little background of that barangay is that it is a coastal barangay in Tagbilaran wherein fishing is a major livelihood. Also, the Manga Beach is not as wide as the beaches of Panglao Island. Some would even go to the fish port, which is a kilometer away from the market. And I know you are all excited to witness the talent of Barangay Manga. And now, let's give it up for Sara and Gerber. Pas 
Basta po hulano, naliw at musikero, kaya magka-istorya, ganitot ng mga tunada. Kada nung sulahi-lahi, paano nga na yung pinagahi, ang importante na magkasinabuta. Nagsubo, ako sa daklit mo palayo Aban ng pangantuyon Na makaulikyo na yun Sa syudad ng malinawon Lapit na mauswagon Mga tricycle na gadagan Libot-libot sa kagbilharan May bahandihan na pusilahan Nasa hilong gidayang dayang Hindi nisama sa nakita mo Kung sana Of candidates. Now I am sure every candidate is making their barangay proud tonight. But that is not the end yet because brace yourselves because I will be welcoming on stage the next batch of candidates. Let me call on Mutya number 9, Maria Jocelyn Oy from Barangay Ball. Good evening, Mutya number 9. Are you ready to showcase your talent? Yes, I am. All right. And also, can you share to us hints about what you have prepared for us to see? Well, I'm going to perform an interpretative dance, which reminds me of the powerful message behind the song Mother Earth by Carly. This song is a tribute to our planet, which sustains us and provides us with everything we need to thrive. It reminds us that we are all interconnected and we must do our part to protect and preserve our environment. Maayong gabi, yugdahan kayong salamat. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Very well said. Thank you, Mutya number 9. We'll see you in a while. Now, Barangay Boal is where the Blood Compact is located. And this life-size monument was created by national artist Napoleon Abueva, a native Boholano as well. It is placed on the race days of statues gathered with Ligaspi and Sikatuna. Okay, I'm sure she is ready to showcase her capabilities tonight. Let's give it up again for Mutya number 9, Maria Jocelyn Oy from Barangay Po. Feel her. 
Thank you for that wonderful performance, Mutya number no. 9. Next, let's put our hands all together for Mutya number no. 10, Christina Maria Shop from Barangay Tip Tip. Hello, Mutya number no. 10. You are looking gorgeous tonight. Thank you so much. All right, so are you ready for your per performance tonight? Yes, I am. Can you explain to us also what your talent is all about? My talent is connected with my advocacy, which is all about mental health. Most of us, especially students, are experiencing different kinds of struggles in life. But you know what? At the end, we need to be mentally healthy so that we can face any challenges that may come our way. Thank you. Very well said. All right, Mutyaten, we'll see you in a while. Now, a fun fact about Barangay Tip Tip is that it is where the Kub Kub Spring is located, and this barangay is also rich in water sources. All right, I'm sure she is ready to perform her set tonight. Let's give it up again for Mutya number 10, Christina Maria Shop from Barangay Tip Tip.
There's no place to go, you know I won't give in Number 10. Now, next on my list is Mutya number 11, Iolanda Kabagnot from Barangay Mansasa. Good evening, Mutya number 11. I can see you have a lot of supporters here tonight. Would you like to say anything to them? Good evening, Miss Rain. You look lovely tonight. Og maajong gabi tagbilaran. I would like to say thank you to my supporters and for everyone for being here tonight to support not just only me, but of course to my fellow Mutya. Alright. And also, same as to us questions earlier, can you share to me what your talent is all about? Um, my talent is about how I express my ideas, feelings, and experiences through dance. It conveys a message about women who, who experience and are still experiencing gender inequality, domestic violence, and injustice. That they should not let anyone dim their light and that they should always stand up for themselves. Dahil ang babae ay hindi basta lang babae. Alright, very well said. Thank you, Mutya number 11. Now, a little and quick detail about Barangay Mansasa is that it is named after Magsasa, which is the process of harvesting bamboo trees. Also, I am so inspired indeed of what our city mayor, Jane Hap, has projected for Tagbilaran, that Project 6300 is a growing activity for bamboo trees. All right, let's put our hands all together for Mutya number 11, Iolanda Kabagnot from Barangay Mansasa. Oh, 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 oh. 
The laws absolutely favored men, giving no rights to women. Women did not have the power to make contracts, own properties, or vote and be voted. Women were seen merely as servants to their husband, and the notion of the word slavery referred to them. They were long considered naturally weaker than men, squeamish and unable to perform works required muscular or intellectual development. Extraordinary things a man can't do. Remember to always keep up the drive, the courage we set for ourselves, and our crafted minds in believing the most beautiful thing a woman can wear is her confidence. Number 12. I like your dress. <laughs> How are you feeling tonight? Well, Ate Rain, it is really not a secret that I am feeling the pressure right now. But despite the pressure, I feel blessed and honored to, to be able to feel the love and the support of my friends, my family, and of course, my barangay, Barangay San Isidro. 
All right. So what preparations did you get ready for your talent this evening? Of course, Saturday, it is really evident that the Mutyasa Tagbilaran requires a lot of courage. And with that, I've, I've been able to prepare myself both mentally, emotionally, and physically. From all those bruises, those self-doubt, and those mental breakdowns, now I am finally able to say that I think I am finally ready. I am ready to showcase my talent, and I hope I can re-show re to you my message very clear and very well. Thank you very much, Mutia number 12. We'll see you fairly in a second. Now, Barangay San Isidro is the only barangay in Tagbilaran City that is named after a saint. And also, it was actually named a while back Barangay Gabong. All right, now, take it away, Mutia number 12, Eliza Olagir from San Isidro. Anomaly in the sea of space. Planet Earth, are you just floating by a cloud of dust? Do you care? Have you a part in the deepest emotions of my own heart? Tender with breezes, caressing in whole, alive. Destruction. Looking left and right, all I see is destruction. Do you enjoy the sense of planet Earth dying and whimpering? Pain. Do you see my pain? Can you feel it? I want you to feel my pain. I want to scream. I want
Thank you for that eye-opening presentation, Mutya number 12. Indeed, Mutya sa Tagbilaran candidates aren't only pretty faces and witty, they also have the heart of a performer. Do you all agree with me? I agree with you 100%, Rain. Amutya is a woman of substance, really. A total package, that is why it is an honor to be part of this prestigious pageant. So folks, that was just the 12 candidates. Now, let us witness what the last batch of candidates have prepared for us. May I call on Mutya number 13, Richelieu Arbutero from Barangay Poblacion Uno. Good evening, Mutya number 13. You really look beautiful tonight. Good evening. Good evening, Ate Claire. You look so pretty also tonight. Thank you so much, Risha. So who are your biggest influences or inspirations in your talent? My inspiration are my family, friends, especially the Barangay Poblacion Uno, who are with me tonight as I share my talent to everybody. It's such a very fulfilling experience, I declare, that I am here standing in front of the crowd, and I am just very thankful that the long wait for the talent competition has come to an end. Thank you. Oh, I see. So, Mutya number 13, the next question is, are you now ready? Yes, I am. Great. Thank you so much, Mutya number 13. So folks, may I hear your loudest cheers as we welcome on stage Mutya number 13, Richelieu Butero from Barangay Poblacion Uno. A winner. I am a mutya. Big word. Big responsibility. I am a beauty queen. These are words that lingers in my mind and boost my spirit as a person. But yeah, I must not forget that before I became a mutya, I am a sister. A daughter, a woman. As I was reflecting on myself for tonight's event, I was brought back to my not so distant past. I can still remember applying oil to my father's sore back after work. Woke up around four in the morning to help my mama prepare for our meal. But all of these things have altered. My mama and my papa are no longer here by my side. Our situation changed me into a strong, independent woman who is empowered by the silent battles I have. Big thanks to my mama and my papa. Friends, family, especially to Kuya Rio, who is a proud member of the LGBTQ community. She is a living witness that it doesn't require a gender to become a mother.
everything you've done. Wow, that was a heartwarming performance from Mutia, number 13, Risha Lubutero from Barangay Poblacion Uno. And I am sure that our audience were also moved by her performance. So next up is Mutia, number 14, Bea Mignon from Barangay Ubuhan. Hi, Mutya, number 14. How are you feeling tonight? Hi, Miss Claire. Honestly, I'm still feeling nervous right now, but I am so very, very excited to present and showcase this kind of talent of mine. So, what is the story behind your talent, Mutya, number 14? Um, this talent is inspired with my mama's story, a single mother. I am proud daughter of a single mother and I am a witness that being a single mom is not an easy job. So to all single mothers out there, I know you can relate this. This is all for you. Very well said, Mutia, number 14. And I believe we have single mothers who are watching tonight. Do you have any message for them? As what I said, Miss Claire, I am proud daughter of a single mother and a living witness that being a single mom is not an easy job. For that, I am so proud that I am a, I am a daughter raised by a single mother and I salute to all single mothers out there. Mama, you deserve to be valued and appreciated. Dagang salamat. Thank you for that heartfelt message, Bea. By the way, speaking of single mother or solo parents, your message is actually timely and relevant as Tagbilaran City celebrates today the first National Solo Parents Day. So earlier, the celebration started with a motorcade and was followed by a program. So we would like to take this opportunity to thank our city mayor, who also we consider as mother of Tagbilaranons for giving importance and love to all our solo parents. So thank you, Mutia number 15. See you in a minute. Just a quick trivia of Barangay Ubuhan. Just a quick trivia of Barangay Ubuhan. It is actually best known for its monument of Captain Francisco Salazar who possessed heroism and bravery. Once again, Mutia number 14, Bea Mignon from Barangay Ubuhan. Malipadyon ang tagna sa pagsubang sa bulan sa sidlakan tujugan jawa Kawayan Para 
bahis na pikoy, san bahis na pikoy, kawaray batasan, kinkatuhi iday. Maritungal from Barangay Kabawan. Hi, Mutya, number 15. You really look stunning tonight. Thank you, Ate Claire. So I'm curious, can you tell us what inspired you to pursue your talent for tonight's talent competition? Um, first of all, I just want to say, Maayong Gabi Tagbilara! I will perform to you tonight a Bisaya or a Boholano brand of cultural dance. This will show diversity, uniqueness, and local identity that can be a means of preserving our rich cultural heritage, not just in Tagbilaran City, but the whole province of Bohol. Ooh, interesting, Mutya number 15. And by the way, I also love your dress. May I know what inspired your outfit tonight? Well, I am wearing a green and brown dress and I partnered it with a bracelet made out of mahogany wood to represent the abundance of mahogany trees in my home, Barangay Kabawan. As we Kabawanons 
are strong and resilient to face any circumstances just like how mahogany trees can resist lightning strikes. I see, that is why I can see a resemblance of the mahogany tree in your outfit. So thank you, Mutya number 15. See you in a minute. So just a fun fact of Barangay Kabawan. Kabawan comes from the word kabatuan, which means daghang bato. But due to the language and pronunciation, it was changed from Kabatuan to Kabawan. And Kabawan is also known for its cave, and it's called the Messiah Cave. All right, I believe that Krisha and all her supporters are now ready. Once again, Mutya number 15, Krisha Maritungal from Barangay Kabawan.
Hello, Mutya number 16. Hello, Ate Claire. Good evening and good evening to each and one of us here. We are so thankful for this big crowd. Thank you. So how does it feel to be the last candidate to perform for tonight, Mutya number 16? Well, actually, uh, we, I am very, I am overwhelmed by this big crowd, but I am much more excited and ready to fire up the stage back again. <laughs> yes, I actually heard that you will be singing and dancing tonight. So I'm just a little bit curious, how long have you been dancing and singing Mutya number 16? Actually, Ate Claire, ever since I was a kid, I'm really fan, fond of dancing and singing. And I don't really care about what others would think of, even though I'm not as good as anyone that I am singing and dancing, I'm not as good as them. But for me, as long as I enjoy what I'm doing, I will pursue what I want. Thank you. Absolutely right. Thank you, Jason. Okay, I believe that we are now all set. Once again, Mutya number 16, Jaisal Joy Argawanon from Barangay Dao. Yo, 
Knowledge, the man behind a sense of amor, Baba Yap. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the past 10 years, the Mutia sa Tagbilaran crown has been passed on to different stories of an empowered woman. And this year, we will reveal the new empowered crown. Lady of the City and the founder of Mutiasa Tagbilaran, who is now the city mayor, Jean Yap believes in the potentials of her creative, talented, young and passionate women with advocacies. Hence, Mutiasa Tagbilaran came to existence as one of the most sought event in Saulug Tagbilaran festivity and continuously brings pride and prestige to Tagbilaranis. This competition upholds commitment in empowered women as Mutia. Now, Mutia sa Tagbilaran on its 10th year showcases a new crown intricately designed by Carrie Santiago and beautifully crafted by Shandar. The Mutia sa Tagbilaran official crown is studded with various gems that will be worn by the winner and shall be passed on to her successor to continue the tradition. The light green emerald stones symbolize life, environment, and color of St. Joseph the Worker, the city's patron saint, while the small synthetic diamond stones represent the concerted efforts of each and every Tagbilarani, and the intertwining loops symbolize peace and friendship, as stated in Article C, Section 12 of the 2007 Revised Code of Administrative Ordinance of the City of Tagbilaran. The roundness of the crown depicts the unity of the city's 15 barangays working hand-in-hand -hand towards the achievement of the city's progress and development. This advocacy of supporting young women catapults into a significant moment, more than just the title, more than the coronation. A celebration of revelry in the city of peace and friendship, where one will prevail as Mutia sa Tagbilaran 2023. The new Empowered Crown, together with Mutia sa Tagbilaran 2022, Maria Bella Acero. Once again, may we call on stage our 16 lovely Mutias for the giving of plaque of a priest participation. Allow me to read this citation. 
This plaque of participation is given to Mutian number one, Reina Gianna Visso, in sincere gratitude and deep appreciation for your exceptional performance as a candidate in the Mutia sa Tagbilar in 2023. Your outstanding representation of your barangay has brought great honor and recognition and your contributions have significantly enhanced the prestige of the Saulog Tagbilaran 2023, a memorable event. Your unwavering dedication, remarkable talent, and remarkable achievements have inspired and impressed us all. Thank you for being an excellent role model and for making Saulog Tagbilaran 2023 a memorable event. This plaque is bestowed during the 2023 Mutia sa Tagbilaran Talent Night competition. This 15th day of April 2023 at Bohol Cultural Center, Tagbilaran City. Signed, City Mayor Jane Yap. At this juncture, may we call on our City Mayor Jane Yap and our City Councilor Honorable Bucci Zamora to give out the plaques of participation to all the candidates. Once again, Mutia number one, Reina Diana Visto. participation is given to Mutia number two, Samantha Marie Hibaya. The same flag of participation is given to Mutia number three, Alia Yusalina. And the same plaque of participation is given to Mutian number four, Princess May Haniola. The same plaque of participation is given to Mutian number five, Flaviona Joaquin. of participation is given to Mutian number six, Debian Coyos. The same flag of participation is given to Mutian number seven, Julian Pedros. The same flag of participation is given to Mutian number eight, Sarah and Gerber. The same plaque of participation is given to Mutian number nine, Maria Jessalinoy. The same plaque of participation is given to Mutian number ten, Christina Maria Schott. The same lack of participation is given to Mutian number 11, Yolanda Cabagnos. The same lack of participation is given to Mutian number 12, Eliza Olaguer. The same lack of participation is given to Mutian number 13. Risha Lu Butero. And the same flag of participation is given to Mutian number 14, 
Bea Mignon. The same lack of participation is given to Mutian number 15, Frisha Marie Tungal. And the same lack of participation is given to Mutian number 16, Jason Joy Argoanon. Further, this talent competition would not be possible without the time, effort, and resources of our expert judges in the distinguished panel. This flag of appreciation is given to Father Efren Bongai. The same flag of appreciation is given to Miss Jason Espejo and Ting. The same flag of appreciation is given to Dr. Janice Aurora Tirol Namok. The same flag of appreciation is given to Ms. Merlinda Mendez Pasalo. The same flag of appreciation is given to Mr. Marianito Jose Luzco. Thank you again to our dear judges and to our lovely candidates. Well, the night is almost coming to an end, but before that, we will announce our top three. They are the ones whose talent shown the brightest tonight. But before I will announce the top three, allow me to give a special thanks to Kim Billiamore for our beautiful outfit for tonight. And of course, to Christian Relator Atelier. Yes, and of course, we would also like to thank the Tag Bilaran City Glam Team for dolling us up tonight. So while waiting for the result, I would like to invite you all to visit the Tagbo sa Tagbilaran, which is located at the City Hall compound. This started yesterday and will end on May 7, 2023. Magkita kita ta dito, mga tagbilaranons and boholanos, as there are various of foods and dry goods there, and also dili jud mawala ang mga nightly activities. Yes, and also we have more and more activities, events for Saulo 2023, such as this coming April 22, of course, is the Mutya sa Tagbilaran Coronation Night at Bohol Wisdom School Gymnasium. Also, on April 26, we have the Saulog Festival King and Queen at here at Bohol Cultural Center. Also, on April 30, we have the Saulog Street Dancing Competition at CPG Sports Complex. And on May 1, we have the Maoy Samayo 2023 Saulog Concert and the Alturas Night at CPG Sports Complex. As Chairman of the Board of Judges, I have the honor to announce to you the uh, three top winners of Miss Talent. We'll be announcing this in no proper order. Ang pasabot ane, kanang unahaw na basa, dili na mo first. O ang ikaduha, dili po na second. Pero silang tolo, maoy mi qualify, one of them will be declared as the best in talent. So, 
the following candidates made it to the top three in no particular order huh? Uh, the first is oh, first on the list, huh? Delete it, yeah. Top yod. The first on the list is Dampas. Then Mansasa. Mansasa, please. And Ubuhan. Thank you. to know who will be awarded as the best in talent. Well, you have to come back at Bohol Wisdom Gymnasium on April 22 to witness the Grand Coronation Night, which, by the way, will be hosted by Miss Grand International first runner-up, Nicole Cordovez and Asia's Got Talent host, Mark Nelson and Robelson Fernandez. The Grand Coronation Night of Mutia sa Tagbilaran 2023. So guys, make sure to mark your calendars and see you guys there. This has been one of your hosts, Mary Grace Bell Reyes, Antoinette Rainweb, Claire Ann Bertodazzo, and Kyla Cassidy Resha. Advance happy fiesta Tagbilaran and a festive sa ulog. A sense of the more Tagbilaran. <laughs>